In this video, I'm going to share how to propagate Anthurium crystallinum from cuttings in water and successfully transplant from water to soil without any damage. And with this, hello plant lovers, I'm Nishat Suba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. First, let me give you an overview of the current situation of my Anthurium crystallinum plant. Unfortunately, the plant has been infected by root rot. So I took out the plant from the soil and cleaned the roots. However, the stem of this plant is quite long and I can take several cuttings out of this. But for water propagation, I separated a few inches of the stem from the top along with some aerial roots. Because the top cuttings of any arid plant root fast, in any type of propagating media compared to mid stem cuttings. And in water, cuttings root two times faster than other media. I made a clean cut at the end of the cutting, which will prevent rotting. I generally do not use fungicide or rooting hormone during propagation, but you can use if you want to. Here the cutting has several young roots and a growth point at the top. Now, take a clean glass of water and put the cutting in water. Only submerging a few centimeters of the lower portion of the stem along with the roots. I mainly ensured around 80% roots were dipped into the water. The cutting has young aerial roots and these types of fresh roots grow fast if get enough moisture in the surrounding which is why I used water to propagate this cutting. Then I keep the glass near a south facing window sill where the cutting will receive around 3 to 4 hours of bright indirect light. I set the cutting for propagation on July 18th and this is the update after 3 weeks on August 10th. Now the cutting has a very good root system and this is the ideal time to move the cutting to the growing media. Here, in the water propagation, I did not change the water, just added water as soon as the water level declined. Usually, it is not necessary to change water in the water propagation until you notice any rotting issues, because the cuttings release rooting hormones in order to survive and root. So frequent changes of water will wash out those rooting hormones that are diluted in water. Now I have taken a 3 inch pot to repot the rooted cutting. Then gently place the rooted cutting over the growing media and fill the rest of the bare spaces with my anthurium potting mix. I have already shared the potting mix recipe in a separate video, link in the description box and i button. Then finally water thoroughly. Although I transplanted the cutting in this plastic pot, but I was curious to see the root growth. So ended up moving the cutting to a transparent plastic cup. And after 12 days from transplantation, this was the condition of the plant and roots. Now the cutting has a very good root system. Here, the key to adjusting the water rooted cutting in the soil is to keep the soil slightly soggy or saturated for a week. You need to water thoroughly as soon as the surface soil looks slightly dry. Such conditions of the soil help the roots to acclimate to the soil quickly. Furthermore, try to provide proper potting mix because compact, impermeable soil can cause root rot during this adjustment. So I have used a potting mix which is a mixture of cocoa chips, charcoal, compost, rice straw and rice husk. Check the detailed video link in the description box and i button. The soil has good water retention but drains out extra water. So it does not create a saturated or waterlogged condition and encourages root growth. And this is the final update. After another week, the cutting has adjusted to the soil and hoping within one or two weeks, the plant will push out new growth. Now at this point, I'm going to reduce watering and will water when 50% soil feels dry. Throughout this propagation process, even after moving the cutting in soil, 
I kept the tidy in a place where it received around 3 to 4 hours of bright indirect light. Now using this propagation and transplantation process, you can multiply Anthurium clarinervium, Anthurium magnificum, Queen Anthurium, as well as other leafy varieties of Anthurium plants. I also experimented with four different types of substance to propagate Anthurium cuttings. The detailed video will be published soon. So if you are interested, then feel free to subscribe with the bell for future updates. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Take care.